I used AI to generate these amazing landing pages without doing anything besides typing in some text prompts on my computer, without coding nor hiring a graphics designer. I'm going to show you how to use AI to generate a basic but completely functional, fully designed website, with accompanying graphics and details, product description, web sections, and a call to action. You're also going to learn how to use a free AI web hosting tool with a free domain to publish this landing page and make it life on the internet. To do this, all you'll need is a smartphone or a computer with internet connection, a product to promote as an affiliate marketer, a copy and paste template which I'll provide you in this video, and zero dollars. I'm going to make a page in this video, and my page would literally be up and running within a few minutes. I'm going to leave a link below to the landing page I created in this video tutorial, so that you can verify that it's real and see if you can draw some inspiration. Let's get into the process. Before you start creating your landing page, you must have done some research on the product you want to promote, and be sure that there's a good market and demand for that product. You can sign up as an affiliate on any website that could give you the best deal, and then create your account, where you'll be provided with special affiliate links. If you have your own products, or do drop shipping for some products, it's even better. After doing that, you can now apply what I'll show you in this video. Let's say I've got some cooking equipment or kitchen items to promote. Now, the plan is to create a high converting landing page to promote those amazing utensils using my affiliate links on a $0 budget. The very first thing is to head over to Mid Journey, sign up for beta or sign into your account if you already have one. Next is to hop into the Mid Journey server and start creating your art. You can enter any of the newbies chat rooms. You can see other people here, creating unique art with the Mid Journey bot. If you scroll through these contents you'll see several different text prompts they've used. To create my own website art, all I have to do is type slash imagine. I'll click on this command right here, and then it gives me a box to provide my text prompts. This is what I'm going to type. Beautiful modern website for kitchen equipment and cooking utensils. Sleek website design. UI, UX, UI slash UX, website with hero section, dash dash v4, dash dash stylize 500. I'll hit enter and wait for the mid-journey AI to generate the visuals. As you can see, there are four variations generated. I'm going to open up the image in my browser. This is how the images are numbered. From the top left image, this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. I think that images number 1 and 3 are the best, but I'm going to upscale image number 1. If I don't like any of these, I could simply press the regenerate button, or I might slightly alter the text prompt by changing some keywords and creating a new image. Clicking on U1 commands the mid-journey AI to upscale image number 1. U2 means upscaling image number 2, and so on. Clicking on V1 commands the mid-journey AI to create variations similar to image number 1. V2 means creating variations similar to image number 2, and so on. I already like the design of image number 1, and I'm going to upscale it. I'm going to copy the original text prompt while I wait for image 1 to be upscaled. This is the upscaled version. I'm going to save it to my computer. To add greater details to any upscaled version, use the beta upscale redo. This option would add much smaller details and improve the overall quality of the image. I'm going to summon the AI bot once more, and paste my text into the Imagine Text field. I'm going to slightly alter the text prompts, and also add some more information like some of the colors I want to see on the website design, and I'll set the aspect ratio to 3 by 2 dash dash r 3 colon 2. This is just my preference, and it doesn't add anything extra to the functionality of the website. Any aspect ratio will be just fine. The text prompts I used in this video are basic and skeletal. You can build up on this by adding other descriptive keywords and parameters as you'd like. Here are four images that the AI has generated. I'm going to upscale image number two. I'll wait for the AI to do its thing. Here's the upscaled version. Now that I have the upscaled version, I'll just save the image to my computer. You're going to notice that some of the images have text that doesn't even make sense. So I'm going to clean up these texts and cut out some parts of the image in Adobe Photoshop to give room for my actual text. If you don't have Photoshop, you can use a free version of Photoshop, which is Photo P. These are the simple stages the image had to undergo using my photo editing software.
some elements and made some customization. I created room for the text and landing page. In case you have some pictures of the actual product to promote on the landing page, it's going to be better if you use a background remover tool to cut out the image, and then use this AI-generated image as the background. You could also blur it out a little bit or customize as much as possible. Now, it's time to make the landing page copy. I'm going to head over to chat with GPT-3. I'll ask ChatGPT to write a landing page website copy for the sales of high-quality kitchen equipment. As you can see, ChatGPT has generated a very good copy for the website. I'm going to ask the AI to include some text for the hero section, product description, and call to action. This is a reasonably good copy, but whenever you're going to do this on your own website, you can always keep tweaking the output until you get the best results. I'm going to save this landing page copy to my notepad. I have my text in the background image. It's time to create the actual landing page. For this, I'm going to use a Canva free account to edit and host my website. On canva.com, head over to the website section. You're going to see several templates. It doesn't matter which one you choose. For my website, I'm just looking to create a single page. I can start from blank or choose from any of the templates and edit them into what I want. Next, I'm going to import my image. You'll notice that the free version of Canva doesn't allow you to resize your website to a 1 by 1 aspect ratio. The default website aspect ratio for the free account is 16 by 9. So I just place this image at the center and look for a color to fill the background. If you're going to try this out yourself, while editing the background image in your photo editing software, export the final image you'll use to a 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 aspect ratio. I'm going to use the image I created as the background image. I'm not a website designer but I'll try to create something out of this image. First, I'll add a text box for the copy section and other sections that are supposed to appear on the product landing page. I'll head over to my Google Docs and copy the text that's supposed to appear in the section. I'm also going to import the images of the actual products and edit the entire web page. I've added my text and arranged the pictures. I'm also going to add text on top of the buttons I made. The Visit Us button may not be so necessary, but I'm just showing you how it could be done. I'll add some text on the buttons of the navigation section and I'm partially done. I'll fill up the background to the left and right of the background image. I created another image with the correct aspect ratio, and I'm going to replace it with this one right here. Now it's time to add links to the website. If I want the Buy Now button to link to my product, and then someone could buy, I'll have to add a link to the text. To add a link to an object or text, select the text, click on the three dots, and then you'll see some options appear. Among these options is the option to add a link. Simply select that option. A text box would appear, and you'll paste the affiliate link to the product or a relevant link to whatever it is that has to do with purchase or checkouts. I didn't sign up for any affiliate program to promote any kitchen equipment, but I'm going to show you how to add your affiliate links. These are some ordinary Amazon websites for some products on Amazon. This is just for illustration purposes. It's not an affiliate link and it can't be tracked to my account. I'm just going to use this as an example to show you that Canva free websites do work. I'll copy this link and paste it into the Canva editor. I'll also do the same for the others. Every text that has an external link would be underlined as you can see. Just for fun, I'm going to add a YouTube icon and link it to this YouTube channel, Digital Tutor. Whenever anyone clicks on this icon, it's going to redirect them to my YouTube channel. Now it's time to publish my site. I don't have a domain, and so I'm going to use the Canva free domain to host the site. I'm going to click on publish, and then the page will go live. And, this is the web address to my product landing page. I'm going to copy this web address, paste it into my web browser to see if it works. And moment of truth, it works, just like any other website. So, let me try to click on the links, and you can see that all the links are perfectly working. They're all redirecting to the hyperlink. Even my YouTube channel link is working fine. I've created a simple website for free. Just as an extra hint, this long tail web address looks unusual. To make it more attractive, head over to bit.ly free URL shortener. You can paste your long and unusual link into this free link shortener, and you can create a simple link that you can share on your social media or wherever you want to distribute your landing page. That's basically how you create a simple website using Midjourney AI, ChatGPT, and Canva for free. I highly recommend that you watch this video showing on your screen. This video right here shows you how to create video content for your YouTube channel within minutes using AI tools like ChatGPT3, AI text-to-speech softwares, and AI text-to-video generators, and web video editors like FlexClip. Thanks for watching till the end.